Hello everyone, um, this is uh, Nick Peasant, or Peasant, and um, today we're going to talk about splitting your audio while streaming. So, uh, I've been trying to do this for like a really long time, <laughs> and I've always been failing. Um, and it's kind of annoying, because like if you're streaming and you don't want your VODs to be muted, uh, you can't be using... Um, copyrighted music or other materials and listening to it while you're playing because it's going to be part of your audio and then when you try and upload later you'll get copyright claims made against your YouTube VODs or your Twitch VODs and your Twitch VODs will be muted and your YouTube VODs um, they'll stay up and they won't be muted but the copyright holder like gets all of your ad revenue or whatever. So. Um, there was a solution that I found that finally worked for me. So someone, um, this post here, I looked at it before and then a little while ago they added some more options and one of them was called voice meter. Uh, so I downloaded voice meter, um, which is easy to do. So I'm not going to show you that. That's stupid. Um, but this is the instruction they set up. So I'll explain that in a moment. So here I have my voice meter. And basically, all you have to do is you set like your your typical listening device, so your headphones, your speakers, whatever it is, as your hardware out. Um, and what this lets you do is you can actually slot um, different pieces of audio into voice meter and have it not be picked up. Um, by your recording software, but still hear it in your headphones. So um, basically what I did was I set my headphone here as, as hardware out, and then for uh, my music, I'm using Fidelify because the Spotify app is shit and doesn't let you choose um, what your audio source is, but basically I sent my Spotify sound to voice meter virtual AISO. So when I play my Spotify music, I can hear it um, in my speakers, and you can see it actually like playing here uh, in the voice meter box and here in the virtual input, but you guys can't actually hear it um, in my video, which is great, which means I can turn on my music, I can start up Dota or whatever, and I can sing to myself and record the game without um, without having to worry about the uh, the copyright materials uh, being included with my my stream or my VOD and um, having to deal with that later. So and then here you can hear my Dota music or my Dota sound. Um, so it doesn't prevent any other sound sources. It just depends what you set it up to interact with. So potentially I could also like have the sound from my game playing. Um, I'm going to turn off my music, it's distracting. <laughs> I could have the sound from my game playing, or not. I could choose to also send that to a different input. Um, yeah, so basically, in, in summary, um, all you have to do is download Voice Meter, set up your hardware out as like your sound device that you listen to, and then send anything that you don't want to have show up in your, in your stream, send that to your, your virtual uh, output. And... Um, if you want to see the setting here that I have set in OBS, all you have to do is set, I have it set to default and then my default device is, um, for playback, my default device is voice meter input. So that's just grabbing the like the end source from voice meter input um, and not picking up the bits in between there being routed through the, the virtual input or output. Anyways, yeah, so that's, that's it in a nutshell. Um, should be pretty easy to figure out, but feel free to leave questions or comments if there's anything that you want to discuss um, afterwards. Great. Well, yeah, so have a, a, a pleasant day, and I'll talk to you guys again another time.